guys, it's Megan and today I'm staying behind the camera because I'm going to do another perfume video and today is going to be a massive, brutal perfume declutter. And I actually have all the perfumes in this box and this isn't even all of them because I have sold some which I'll mention but if you're interested in any of these ones I show today I am selling them on my Mercari so I will link that down below my username is megfish8 and I just really want these to go to a better home because if you watch my recent perfume collection video I had just so so many and I can only use so much perfume before it like goes bad so I try to be extremely picky and only keep the absolute best of the best ones that I love the most that I wouldn't want to be without and any that I was kind of like eh, I decided to part ways with so we have I don't even know how many oh my gosh we have a lot mostly full-size bottles um, I do have some like testers and stuff but I think that's the direction I'm gonna go from now on with perfume and I recommend that to you guys as well if you can get a travel size or a sample or something I just think that's a better way than going to buy a full bottle right off the bat but to each his own and so I'm just gonna dig in this box at random and go over them one by one and there are a lot of shockers in here that I just can't even believe I'm getting rid of but I really won't miss them so the first shocker to me is the Valentino Voce Viva this is a gorgeous fragrance to me i think of this as a very inoffensive perfect day-to-day -day fragrance you can wear it to the office to the post office to the grocery store you can be in close contact with people and they won't be like overwhelmed by your perfume but you'll just smell really really nice I just don't reach for this and it makes me so upset because this is the one that Lady Gaga is the face of and she is my queen so I just feel sad of getting rid of this but I am not going back into the office until 2022 that's the latest that they told us so I was going to wear this mostly for in the office and now I'm not going back so I just have other perfumes I would prefer I love this packaging it's such a cool design but I'd rather have someone else get use out of it the next one is a travel spray that I bought and this is from royalty sense and this is the Jean-Paul Gaultier Labelle which if you watch like fragrance videos everyone talks about this I tested it out for a little bit and it is really beautiful but it's not something I'm just obsessed with and can't live without so I'm going to let someone else try this out and these are just a really great way to test perfumes so I'm going to keep my royalty scent subscription for now so I can get the new and different things to try every month but not commit to a full bottle <sighs> this one oh I don't want to get rid of it because of the bottle but this is Lancome La Vie A Belle Soleil Cristal and it's such a gorgeous bottle it really intrigued me the second I saw it and I eventually bought this this is only a 50 mil but it looks really big like it just seems very substantial for the amount of perfume and this is such a gorgeous summer fragrance but I've realized with what I like to wear that I don't like to wear coconut scents. It's very rare that I want to smell coconutty. This is a very sophisticated coconut scent, so if you want to dabble in coconut scents, this is a really, really beautiful one. I just don't reach for this. I've had it for a few months and I've used it 
maybe twice. Um, so I just want this to be used by someone and appreciated for more than just the bottle. So I'm saying goodbye to this little beauty. Similarly is the Clean Classic Sunshine. This is a new fragrance for this summer. And oh my gosh, this one is so pretty. I really, really do like this one. It has more of a citrus kick than the Soleil Cristal, but this again just has a pretty like strong note of coconut and I just don't reach for that kind of fragrance. So um, I'm going to sell this one as well. Oh, I can hear my friend Danielle gasping through the computer screen. This is a beauty. This is Narciso Rodriguez for her. And I really love these perfumes, you guys. Like, I had them for a reason, but I just don't reach for this. And I don't know. I love how it smells, but I just don't feel like it's me. So... I've only used this maybe two times as well. I love the packaging. The like opaque millennial pink is just so cool, but it just isn't me. And it's very delicious. Like it's very spicy and it smells like something my mom used to wear, which I love. Like me and her have very similar taste in fragrance, but it just doesn't feel like me when I wear it. So I am going to let this go, but it is so beautiful and I know someone will get a lot of great use out of this one. I think this one is the most shocking to me personally because I just bought this. I literally just bought this. Um, this is Chanel Allure and I've used it, I think I used this two times. It is so gorgeous spicy, feminine. I have described it as a clean woman and it just smells so sophisticated and stunning. But similar to the Narciso Rodriguez for her, it just doesn't feel like me. I feel like I'm wearing my mom's perfume and playing dress up or something and I just love how this smells, but I've realized I love how a lot of perfumes smell, but I don't want to wear them. Like, I would rather just smell this bottle than wear it. And perfume is meant to be worn, <laughs> and I would rather have someone get to try this for less than the retail price and just enjoy it. So. I am going to let this one go even though I just bought this a few weeks ago, but I just have to face the facts that I like how some things smell, but I don't necessarily want to wear them. This next one is the KKW fragrance Ruby Diamond, which I believe is the Kourtney Kardashian fragrance. This bottle is so heavy, you guys, and it's so gorgeous. It looks like a gem. Um, and really it's the lid the lid is super heavy so um the reason i'm getting rid of this is not because i don't like it i really really like this fragrance but it is i would say 90 percent or more similar to tom ford rose prick which is awesome because <laughs> this is much 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 more affordable than rose prick but i recently bought the body spray of rose prick so since i recently bought the body spray i don't feel like i need both of these and this one i really like the packaging and all but i don't like how you have to store it like flat it just kind of bothers me. So if you're looking for a rose prick dupe, this is incredible. So this one I am decluttering the big bottle because I bought a small bottle. So this is the Atelier Cologne Clementine California. And I love this perfume, but I just don't need this huge of a bottle. So I did buy the little size. Um, so I'm going to sell this big mama of a size and then I am going to have this baby size which I just think is perfect. It's a great travel size and also just more 
reasonable for me to use up and I just really really like the tiny sizes so I'm going to be selling my I think this is a hundred mil bottle and keeping the little baby. I also decided to part ways with the Atelier Cologne Pacific Lime. This is a really really pretty unisex scent very like kind of earthy and citrusy it just doesn't vibe with me it just doesn't feel like me and so I am going to be letting this one go literally some of these shock me so much I decided to get rid of the Victor and Rolf bonbon which I recently bought and I have a travel spray of it and I'm just gonna stick with the travel spray I shouldn't have bought a full bottle before I used up the travel spray like I really need to get better about that so this I've used quite a bit of it actually because this is just a really nice like cozy vanilla scent and it doesn't have the best performance but I have worn it mostly for just like lounging in bed or going to sleep so the performance doesn't bother me but I just don't need a full bottle of this when I have other perfumes that I prefer more so I recently bought this but I'm going to let this one go. Another recent purchase that I sold on Mercari is my Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Oh So Sweet. This one I loved the opening but I didn't love the dry down. It was very oak mossy and I just wish that the opening lasted. So I decided to sell this one and I'm really glad that I could sell it for a really great price for someone to try it, so I just want these to go to better homes. I also sold the KKW Kendall Olive perfume because I really love how this one smells, but I just don't see myself actually wearing it. So again, I let that one go. I'm going to let go of this Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods Rose Quartz Gemstone Rollerball. So this is a fragrance oil that is in like a rollerball format. I've used this I think once and I really like the fragrance but I just don't really like rollerballs so this would just be much more well loved and used by someone else so I am going to sell this beauty. It really is a nice scent but not my absolute favorite. This one I literally have never used and I bought this around my birthday. This is the Laird Bella the Irresistible and this is a dupe for Parfum de Marly Cassilli which I recently got the Parfum de Marly um, like fragrance sampler set with travel sprays and now that I have like the real Cassilli and I don't really feel like I would use up a whole bottle of this scent because it's just very specific. It's very, very sweet. It's absolutely delicious, but I just don't see myself using up this whole thing, so I would rather just enjoy the real spray that I now have and pass this one brand new on to someone else. So this is gorgeous, really, really delicious. It is such a beautiful scent, but um, I am going to part ways with this one. I also decided to get rid of my Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. This I just don't really wear. I've worn it maybe two times, and that was years ago, honestly. So I just don't reach for this. It is a classic, but I don't need every classic in my collection. Like it's definitely a foolproof fragrance, but I just prefer other scents. So I'm going to let this one go. Oh, this one makes me really sad. This is Jimmy Choo Illicit. I love this bottle. I've used up a whole travel spray of this several, several years ago, probably more years ago than I even want to admit, and I really haven't used this bottle since I bought it all those years ago. It's a very beautiful, like spicy vanilla fragrance. It's gorgeous, but I just don't reach for this, especially since I've been getting into perfumes. I found other perfumes that are 
like along the same lines that I just prefer more so I just want someone else to get some use out of this and so I'm letting this go. Another beauty that I can't believe I'm letting go of is Lancome Edole and this I've used more of than some of my other perfumes but this little skinny bottle just really annoys me like I like how it feels holding it but to store it I always knock it over like it's just something that a clumsy person like me can't handle or at least I personally can't handle it so I really like this fragrance but it's not something I really reach for that often anyway so I am letting this one go another one that shocked me that I just really feel ready to part ways with is the Kia Kayali Citrus 08. I've used this I think one time and then just like sprayed it to smell it another time. I just don't vibe with this scent. It's very like bright and just to my nose it's a little sharp and then it doesn't last. So that's why I'm getting rid of it, but it is such a cute bottle. I really don't want to get rid of it because the bottle is just so adorable, but I just don't see myself reaching for it enough to justify keeping it. So I'm going to let this one go as well. I'm also letting go of the Way Melrose Place travel spray. I fell in love with the Way Melrose Place fragrance through their body scrub and their dry shampoo. And I do still love it in those hair products and body products, but I just don't wear this as a perfume. It's very, very rose. Like, it's a beautiful rose fragrance, but I just don't feel like this is me. Like... I don't know it's just not a fragrance that I reach for so I like it in their other products but I just don't really need it in the perfume I've barely used it anyhow so just makes more sense to let go of it so including all of the perfumes that I sold previously to showing you guys this declutter I have decluttered 45 perfumes for my collection in the past month and a half so I'm really, really proud of myself, really happy that I was able to let go of the stragglers, let go of the ones that I'm not 100% in love with, and just keep the ones that when I smell them or look at them, they just make me really happy and I feel like they smell like what I want to smell like. And if you want to see a video on the perfumes that I kept and that made the cut through this brutal declutter, let me know and I would be happy to film that for you guys because I think I kept around maybe 15 to 20 perfumes and so those are truly the best of the best, my absolute favorites and We'll see what other ones I decide to incorporate into my collection, but I'm not going to go buck wild like I have over the past few months. So if you're interested in any of the ones I showed today, and there are more like samples and things like that on my Mercari that I'm selling, check out my Mercari link down below and... I'm just really wanting to sell these, so feel free to make me an offer. So that's all for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you really soon. Bye!